there's these words called the front country and the back country. Front country means you're in town, back country means you're um, out backpacking. We spend a week in the front country, a week in the back country, a week in the front country, and then three in the back and one in the front. It's open to anyone who is really eager to learn um, under any weather conditions, temperatures, elevations. We are based here in McCarthy at the Ranga Mountain Center's headquarters at the old hardware store, but really our classroom is the natural environment here in the mountains. Be prepared to be uncomfortable, but realize that it's totally worth it in the end. If Students have their own food. We share group gear, shelters, and ice tools for the glacier. We bring a small library with us for field resources. Yeah, all that has to fit in your pack. 52 pounds is a lot, but you get used to it. You build up strength and it becomes easier as time goes on. There are very few trails, and so we are pretty much finding our own routes through the mountains. We travel over glaciers and bushwhack through boreal forest, and then we climb into the alpine and walk over tundra and over high alpine passes. Go for it. It's, it's definitely life-changing, and it's not easy. On our three-week backcountry trip, we have two resupplies, so we carry about a week's worth of food. The lectures take place outside. You're learning about things that you're seeing right in front of you, so it's a lot different than learning out of a book. We were sitting on the Cuscalana Glacier doing our data collection of just sitting and listening to the glacier melt. There's rocks falling of various sizes, sometimes onto other rocks and sometimes into pools, and there's just ice melting and dripping, and so you get these like you know, chalky clinks and clunks, and then the drip of water and rocks falling into water splashing. Sometimes the glacier will crack. You just experience a lot more and understand a lot more than what people try to feed you or what textbooks try to feed you. Wildness is not necessarily about wilderness lands. Wildness is the kind of world we live in, and if you're going to do that well and flourish in these times, but the really important thing is that you come away with this knowing something about yourself, about human relationships, and with the skills to deal with instability. Deal with instability under stress. By golly, if you're talking about today's world, there's nothing more applicable. For the students, it's completely out of their um, normal situations at home. The best moment was making it to the top of that 7,000 foot pass. It was just like, well first we couldn't believe that we had reached the peak. Um, truly shocking. We were like, oh we just assumed that it kept going. But um, we made it. So that just like, exhale was amazing. When they're here in town, they live and work communally. In addition to studying, in addition to working on their projects, in addition to continuing to learn, they're cooking for themselves and for each other. I am cutting pizza ingredients. I just picked some fresh greens for pink pizza topping and for salad. Broccoli grains. They're doing chores around the Rango Mountain Center campus. When they get back from the backcountry, they're cleaning themselves and cleaning their clothes and cleaning their gear. They're washing their socks by hand. I'm just cleaning quite a few of my clothes after the three-week expedition we've just had. Well, we get some hot water from um, Bertha over there. <laughs> right now. And uh, some like cold water from the creek just down there. Um, I just wash it with a bit of soap in this one here and then dunk it in the cold water. I don't think they're going to dry very quickly though because it's raining, so... <laughs> These are our little tents that we uh, had in the back country. Right now I'm just dunking this in water, um, just to get the dirt off. Still sleeping in their tents, but they're remembering what it's like to put on clean socks 
on clean feet. Yeah, pack a lot of synthetic wool. <laughs> it helps. I came here hoping to change a little bit because I had I thought of myself as a pretty solid person coming in, but there was like just this little part of me that was deep inside that I guess I just never felt comfortable enough like being totally me. And now I feel like I'm a lot closer to that and closer to being that person that I know I actually am. I may have become a bit more like calm <laughs> going with the flow of things. Like even though we've had a lot to do, I felt quite relaxed for most of the time. There was a lot of time for introspection and I really, a lot of us did, um, thought about like priorities and like what's, what really matters to us and how we want to affect the world. It's an amazing opportunity and I really recommend it to anyone. Uh, do it. <laughs> uh, even if you're not, not from the States, such as myself, even though it may take a very long time to get here, it's, um, it's definitely worth it. It's been a very, very valuable experience. Be warned, you may never leave. <laughs> or you might not entirely leave. A, a large part of your soul may remain anchored here. It will really change the way that you see your world. And that's awesome.